Good morning. My name is Sharon Williams Dean, and it's about four o'clock in the morning. And I have prayed and thanked God that I woke up. And I woke up early and I got on the internet and I started looking at different interviews and conversations concerning Donald Trump. I am a person that voted for Hillary because I'm a person that's always for women's rights. But I will say something about Donald Trump. He's definitely smarter than the average bear. And he also has been looking at what has happened while Obama has been in office. Everybody knows that almost everything he did was, you know, he had to come up against a fight. And uh, Donald Trump has enough sense to know that when you go into battle, you need to know the ones that are with you, and you need to know your enemies. And by him handling his campaign in the way that he did, he brought out a lot of people that are terribly, terribly prejudiced. And in doing so, uh, that was very, very smart. Um, for the simple reason now, Donald has changed his hat. Upon entering office, you know, he couldn't stand anybody. But now he says he wants to bring the country together. He might not be as bad as everyone thinks, or a lot of people think. Um, he's bad, but not maybe not as bad as we think. For the simple reason... They said that he was always contradicting himself in statement. Okay. He wants to build a wall, and he's going to build a wall. But we know for a fact he has nothing against somebody from another country because he's married to someone that may not have been born here. I don't know, but... Uh, He's not born. He's not. He's not married to what the Klan would call a thoroughbred white woman. So that's a little contradictory. But we want to get the Klan on our side first, okay? And we want to get all the the, the Latinos and all the Muslims and all the blacks that want to be on our side. So we can see the percentages. He's a businessman. And he's looking at the percentages. He's looking at where everybody is at. He has to know where everyone everyone is so that he can touch the pulse of the nation. He had to start trouble in order to cause peace. Uh, I'm becoming a little bit pessimistic or should I say optimistic on what Mr. Trump is going to do. Now we know that there was no campaign ran like this campaign and 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 he looked at Obama and he knows that Obama was actually the best African-American man to move into the presidency because he's so gracious so smooth and so calm. But Trump knows this, that Obama knows something. And for him to sit down and meet with Obama and say maybe he needs to counsel with Obama says that Trump is willing to learn from anybody because, see, his main goal is success. His main goal is success. And I have to know where all the people are so that I can be successful.
so I know how I can reach them. And uh, the, the idea of jobs, I'm on the side about that. We need jobs. Everybody needs jobs. And I think that if you are a African American who may be uh, lazy for real, or you you might you got to stop. See, because we got a president that says you're gonna get money or get lost. Period. You're going to make money or you're going to get lost. And I, I'm, I'm kind of in that crew. And I don't have a lot of money. But I've already worked for 50 years. I'm 66 years old. Uh, and a lot of times people are not doing everything they can to be successful. And uh, I think we may learn something from Mr. Trump. And we may also learn that we can't go on everything he says, literally, because we know that he will say anything. So I would say to the people in the neighborhoods that I know about firsthand that we continue if we have a faith, to hold fast to our faith. But know that not on, God works in mysterious ways, his wonders to perform. And sometimes we have to step outside the box in order to clear up things in the box. God bless, and have a great day, Facebook folks.